What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Thrones of Britannia campaign playing as Wessex, or Wessex, as they are known in this, uh, in this, let's play. Um, so, the aim is obviously to continue to form uh, Britain, or, well, to form England, uh, we won't go as far as forming Britain, we'll leave that to William the Conqueror or whoever else comes after, um, to deal with that, and in the last episode we did indeed defeat East Engel and took Norwich and what was ever left and we declared war on some small irrelevant Viking nation over here um, which we dealt with and now we can probably move this army um, since we have the time we can move it all the way up to there we can carry on moving these other armies up as well uh, this one I won't move you can stay there and do whatever and the rest of our armies wherever they are oh yes we have raiding going on down here I forget so we have a Viking horde that has landed here. This happened in the last episode as well, some more Northmen. So we'll have to deal with them. We have an army mobilizing as quickly as possible, though it could be going a lot quicker uh, to get there. We have this one as well, moving down in that direction as well. Um, but yes, if you guys enjoy, are enjoying this Let's Play and you haven't subscribed, then please go and do so. It really helps out the channel. And leave a like and a comment if there's anything else uh, that you want to see on the channel. Let me know in the comments. Um, so yeah, we'll end the turn, I think, and we'll see what happens. The aim in this episode is probably to start to go to war with this nation here that controls uh, Lincoln, which is where I am at the moment in the world. Um, so we'll uh, try and take Lincoln from them. There they are, hold Heilborg or something like that. I think they're a vassal of Northumbria. So we may be going to war with Northumbria in this turn as well. And it looks like some rebels are causing some problems. Disloyal for you. Okay. Your loyalty is very low anyway. Not so good. So low loyalty. This guy. Let's sort his loyalty out because this is going to been a constant problem. So bribe with words. There we go. His loyalty is sorted. And uh, we don't need to worry about him ever again. Um, Ethelwald, I'll try and find your wife. Research available. Okay, we need got some new research we can do. Um, we can research the medium war engines, or we could... Um, oh, we got new archers. Excellent. Um, defensive tactics could be handy. I kind of want to go down Civic a bit more. Villa Estate would be quite nice. So I think now all our archers can be upgraded. Um... Not these ones, though. <laughs> I presume just ones that are in our her own territory, yes. They go up a little bit in upkeep, but not massively, so I'm... Oh, I do apologise. Uh, I think we'll just put them up there. There we go, yeah, they should be fine. Fjord archers should be fine. Perfect. Um, I think we have a few others, but... don't know if they're upgradable. No, we don't have any in this army, either. Where did that Northman army move? A bit further inland, okay. We're going to be after attacking it with a 7 against a 12. Not really the odds I would like to be going with. I could try and get this army down here as well. Is the aim. Um, keep getting this army further south. Deal with it. Um, the 16 uh, stack I'm just going to bring all the way up to here. This looks like he's going through marshes, which apparently going to do some damage. Didn't realise marshes were so treacherous these times of the years. Um, and then we've got a 20 stack, that can just move up. These are probably going to be the two armies that are going to be dealing the damage. I like, I, I need to actually look on diplomacy. Are they allied with Northumbria? I, if not, then yes, they are a vassal of Northumbria. They are huge now in Northumbria. Well, I say that. Looks like Holderness and the Heilborg people are doing most of the problem. And these guys here, Hilleborg, are fighting them as well. And the Welsh are here, another Welsh nation. You really don't like us. But I will Insulting, hey? Arrange marriage, demand a wife. Insulting. Ugh. Mercy are even still around. They are, but they're like mostly in Wales now. So hopefully they did actually get destroyed in England and we can just take all their English territory and they can survive in Wales, and that would be fine. Um, these guys. Speak true and do not. 
Yeah, I didn't think so. Don't think many people like me now. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm expanding at a, a rapid rate. Oh, these guys like me. Castle. Come share the comforts of my household. But you're a vassal kingdom of Maid who are here. Who are neutral. Intriguing. No, I didn't think they would. Uh, I just want to see who we could get at South Sayx. Have you got any wives? No, I didn't think so. I don't think there'll be many people that will uh, want to give us a wife for that poor guy, that poor chap. Def uh, yeah, all these people are like... These guys might though. They're, oh, they're a vassal of Maid again. Oh, do they have a wife? Oh, they do actually. A natural beauty. Excessive. Well, then I'm going to demand some money because I presume that's... Oh no. Wow. That's excessive. Uh, well, then just... Do I offer? Excessive. Oh, they accepted. Oh. Damn it. I should have got some money out of them then. Well, he's got a wife now at least. That's that's the that's the main part of it, <laughs> I guess. There he goes, he's got a wife, an Irish woman. Um and he can do something with him her. Have some children, perhaps. Um So yeah, I guess uh, is there anything I really want to spend my money on? I guess I could spend some with the seven stack here. Get this some archers would be kind of handy in this one. Some swords would also be kind of handy. Hmm. I'm going to go with archers. One archer. There we go. That's all I can really afford. Um, well, we're good on food and on our income as well. Oh, I guess we'll just end the turn and we'll see what happens. Get a move on. I'll probably send one army up through, like, to go towards... Uh, well, this is Nottingham, basically, but they put an S in front of it, call it Snottingham, apparently. Makes it sound funny and quirky. And it's probably how it was pronounced at the time, but... It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right. Why would you call your nation that? Oh, it looks like South Sayx is going to take that, and that's now become a rebel settlement that I could probably do. Counter their claims. Rumours sweep. The court that your noble lineage may not be so noble. And that alternative version of your family genealogy is being shown to the people. The rumours have been traced to this man. How dare you. Well, to be fair, I think this guy actually is supposed to be the rightful king of, well, Wessex. Because Alfred's brother does die, but his own son, which I'm pretty sure is Eofwald or Ethelwald or something like that, how you pronounce it, um, is not seen as a good candidate. So Alfred gets the throne. But I'm going to count the claims. And someone wants... Some uh, some land, but they're not getting it. The king keeps all the land, gets you most money. Why would you do other anything other than that? And anyway, we should start building some stuff. Maybe economy. What's uh, a food? A food. The happiness state is not great here, so we will, maybe can't. But I should be spending more money on economy. You need to boost that. Um, you're a governor, so you should probably be helping with uh, scribing. That would help. And that is the only one. Low loyalty. Wow. Why did all of these people all of a sudden just hate me? Wow. And my heir hates me. And family members hate me. Oh, this is the same guy. Hmm. It's not devastating yet, but I kind of want to spend money first on an economy. Improve this. Yeah, do that. And then I do have a bit of money left, but I can't really afford to spend it on an economy, it would seem. Uh, on, a, on bribing people. That's that's the one that I meant. Um, hmm. Don't know where their armies are. Oh, there's one. It is actually near my lands. I'm going to bring the Resolute Wall. I'm going to put them here in Ligerikester or whatever you say that. How do you pronounce that one? This one's going to move up to here, and this 8 stack is just going to stand here and probably just recruit a few more troops. More archers, please. Yep, there we go. And then that's kind of all I really want to do with you. <sighs> Low loyalty is not great though, not great. Oh, and we need to move these other armies down south. Oh no, because you dealt with them. 
Well done, South Sex. But you lost your city of fear, so we're going to go and take that from whoever is in charge. Why? Oh, this place is Marsh, and of course, apparently now Marsh kills people off by the by the dozen. Um, this army can just sit in Winchester then, and it can just... Well, just sit there and it can recruit troops if needs be. Um, nothing there that I really want. I do really want to make this army kind of good. Um, but that 16 stack over there could do first with some more elite troops. Certainly some more elite infantry. So we'll end the turn and we'll see what happens. Certainly it'll be at least ne either the yeah. Try and get the words out. Either next turn or the turn after that, that I will make my assault on... Uh, North. Ah, oh, I should have seen this. Here we go. Turning remains. So minus one loyalty. Six more turns. I'm not going to bother spending money then on... Unless they get down to one. Like, one loyalty. Oh, it looks like somewhere else has fallen. To rebels. I'm full hawk. Swinhelm. Okay. Oh, I know what I need to be doing that I haven't been doing. I need to be setting war targets. So set that war target. So you take that. This is held by something, someone that I hate. Um, but these guys really need to get rid. But I mean, I'm sure these people will go and deal with them in there in time. Uh, happiness here is okay. I'm gonna put in a hunting lodge, keep the economy going well, and we can afford to build some more troops. So the 16 can move to here. Oh, are they siege? No, they're not sieging down. I thought they were sieging down these guys, but they're not. Oh god, they are quite strong though, all of a sudden. Um, I'm going to... I don't know... Could do Priest, help with Allegiance, but his Allegiance is okay. He's actually one of the few that is kind of still loyal. Um, go with Champion, I guess. Help with his command. Um, you can get some... Royal Thanes would be nice. I'm going to go with you and then I'm going to go with them to get some a bit of both so we can get two units in there make that as 18 stack. This army is just going to start to move in. I don't even care if there's trespassers or not. I'm going to just start moving in. There we go. They'll hate me for it, but war's coming, so who cares. Um, low public order. Ooh, e which is just here. Ah, but you have a rebel. These are the rebels, yes. But we'll deal with them. Oh, they're a 10 stack now? Oof. They actually might be a bit of a problem. I don't know. There's... They can have no garrison, I imagine. So we could probably actually take this. And it's got some decent stuff here. Um, an E6, which we've just... Oh, yeah, this is the place. A middle 6, that's the one I'm on about. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with you. Like, this place is just industry, really. Industry. Can't do much about that. I would have been nice if I could have taken London, then I could have certainly, uh... Could have made it happier, put it like that. Uh, <laughs> I'd have the infrastructure to actually build some happiness buildings. Um, and then, that's kind of it. I've run out of money again. I'm getting through these turns quite quickly. Um, loyalty... I'm trying to get through these turns quickly enough so I can... More than you bargain for. One more turn. Wow. Okay, people just hate me for that, for some reason. Five more turns on that. Low influence. Okay, I have a lot of negative things just going on right now in, like, my faction. But leader influence at ten, so I can't complain about that. Demand the throne. Rightful inheritance. The king of mercy is dead. Yeah, demand the throne. There you go. Vassalizer eliminate... Uh, oh, there we go. I, that's good. Mercy swears legions. Oh, and they become my vassal. Nice. Um, am I now at war with everyone? I wonder. Um, uh, so for Mercy I no longer, no longer need to go to war with. That is good. So, do I inherit their wars? Or are they still at war with people? No. Right. Brilliant. So I've inherited whale, parts of Wales I don't really need either. But we'll take them. We'll take them. Um, so that's brilliant. These people are now... They love me. And they're deteriorating though. Because of my treaties. Oh, uh, well. If they declare war on me or they break away, then we'll go and crush them. Um, and they're deteriorating. I'm not surprised. Uh, actually, can I set that as a war goal? No. 
Apparently not. I'm not at war with anyone. Hopefully they go and take that then. Search complete. Um, I want to do civic again because I'd like to go down rural enterprises and increase the income that rural enterprises are giving me. Um, and then it's 18 stack. I can't see their stacks anywhere. So we're going to go in and we're going to declare war on them. Northumbria, Holderness are the only people. So they may join. They're all dependable in fights or ethics matter. Hmm. They all joined though. They all joined. There we go. We're at war. Uh, we'll just siege this out uh, with a bit of both. A bit of both. Um, so yeah, I presume we're, yeah, at war with everyone that joined. Holden has also joined. Um, I'm just going to go straight for Lincoln. Yeah, go straight for Lincoln. Then this army can... How many turns would it take you to... Wouldn't actually take you that many turns to go that way. So we're going to get you to come into the sea and you can attack that way. Just take that. That can be your job. Mop up everything that comes through there. We're making plenty of money. Governance available. That's fine. Low loyalty. Yeah, that's actually not the end of the world now. I know that what the reason is. Um, low public order. South Mercy now doesn't isn't happy. But that's probably because that army left. This place here could help with economy. Um, a farm would be quite good. Hmm. A farm would be quite good, actually. Yeah, let's put a farm in. It's going to take a lot of turns to arrive, but that's fine. We'll put a farm in. Get some, I don't know, farmers to do some stuff. I don't think they've got any armies nearby. Holderness has this army over here, an 18 stack of its own. I think Heilborg had one around here. We, cannot. we may have to just worry about, because now Mercy, ah. Ah, there it is. How far is that from my territory? It's not too far away. So I'm going to mobilize this army back up here now. And then you can start recruiting from there. And you can get some decent units yourself. And then I have a ten, that 10 stack. I can deal with these rebels. In the next turn it would seem. Mercy. How far, oh, Self Mercy is actually going to... Not Self Mercy. Self uh, Sayx is probably going to take it itself. That's a shame. Um... And 95 left. I can't afford to do anything about loyalty even if I wanted to. So that's not the end of the world. Oh, Northumbria's got an army just around there as well. So that's probably where all their armies are. And they've got another one. Another 20 stack Heilborg. Jeez. We do need to start knocking these guys down a bit. And they just raided. Okay, so they're not going wanting to... In that's really bizarre. They've been happy to take everything else so far, but... As soon as they come across one of my settlements, or like my vassal settlements, no, just raid it. Oh, okay, a cutscene. And I got a lot of achievements. Comes at the point of a sword. Wow. Lots of achievements. <laughs> oh, God. With your mighty armies you have dominated, crushing those who oppose your rule. Now you are the true power in these lands. All thrones bow to you rule. There we go. Apparently all thrones bow to my rule. Oh, I finished the short conquest. Wow, I did not even realize. Wow. Uh, well, I'm going to continue the campaign for now. Appease uh, the clergy. Your loyalty is not great. Appease the clergy. God damn it. Uh, yeah, I don't care about him. And there we go. Yep, short conquest done. Right, so that person's loyalty is really low. Um, I need to deal with that. That was a two. No, that was a one, sorry. Biotri, you really hate me. I should really replace you or have you, like... I don't know. His influence is really high. He's got a, His spouse doesn't like him. Can I get his spouse to uh, divorce? Oh, it cost him a... Uh... Yes, actually, that would be cheaper. Force them. There we go. Now he should be more loyal to me. Yeah, there we go. He's up to three now. That works. And same with you. Possibly personal... No, traits and items. Okay, well... And the rest of you are okay, then. 
on the loyal. Oh no, you're on one as well. Right, we'll spend some money on you. I guess. Don't really want to, but I guess I have to. Yeah, people are unhappy that I did that, I know. Um, governor available. I'm not too fussed about employing some governors just quite yet. Um, there we go, just do that. I kind of want to finish uniting England. I mean, we've got most of it. It's just Northumbria really left. And they're really, really vulnerable. They've overextended their armies. So we'll do that. Take Lincoln. Um, Nottingham? Eh. Yeah. Two turns till they start, start starving. I'm going to maintain the siege for now. There's no evidence that they're coming anywhere near my lands. Where does that 20 stack go? There. I'd like to take Warwick for myself. I presume that's Warwick because that would really help with South Mercia's like, just allegiance. I'm not going to take it yet from them though. I do need to keep an eye on it though. I'll keep an eye on that 20 stack. It could just make a beeline through my lands. But it's got to go through Mercy's first. And this 18 stack could get back in time. I hope, anyway. Um, but we're going to build some... Ro um, uh, that's very expensive. Wow. That's all my money. Um, I'll get two... I can't even get one other things? Wow. Get some Saix Warriors then. <laughs> um, and some Archers. There we go. That stacks that army up to a 10. That makes that pretty good. Um, Hengist Legacy nearly do done with and then we can probably if we take Nottingham in the next couple of turns they're going to surrender in th uh, four turns time it's probably why that 20 stack's coming for me actually but it won't reach in two turns maybe three hmm should be okay well we'll end the turn and we'll uh, we'll see what happens But I guess I'll just put, uh, I'll see if I can uh, form England in the next few turns, uh, in the next few episodes. Um, because obviously we've completed the short campaign. We basically, um, it's now just snowballing with the rest. There are a few Northum Northumbrian armies left, which are possibly a threat. But I don't really think so. I think we're probably almost done. Oh gosh, one loyalty loss for, either way we're losing one loyalty. So I might as well not lose the end influence. Etherwald really hates me now though. Ignore, he gets vengeful. I don't know what vengeful does though. Fine, I'll spend my money and pay off, pay him off. Um, Earth Wall's just awful anyway, hey, so I mean I could decree stuff. I can't actually now. Faction allegiance, public order. Don't actually need to do any of that, that's the thing. Family tree. Earthwall, it's you. You don't like don't like it, so I'll have to spend all the money on making you privately thank him, publicly thank him. Uh yeah, I'll publicly thank the guy. There he goes, he's loyal um, let's just attack there Alfred can gain some more XP we just kill this man I think sieges aren't too bad in this game I probably would have been fine probably could have actually dealt with it but it's just so easy to occupy I don't want to sack um, just repair all this there we go oh and I can expand Lincoln there we go we've taken uh, well, the place I'm living in at the moment. No one can hunt me down now, though, now that I said that. If you do, I'll be very unhappy. Uh, and we're taking Drayton now. I know it, that's... Got a big theme park, I'm pretty sure it's Drayton, or Drayton Manor. Um, no, it's still not worth it. I might as well just wait the extra turn and see if I can starve them down. Where did that stack go that 20 stack yeah it is slowly making its way here it's not going to make it in any time though what is that and I could build this 10 stack up I mean if I had money <laughs> if I had money I would honestly I would uh, and then yeah now Lincoln's not very happy but that's not to be surprising we just burnt the place to the ground um probably we'll put a garrison in here 
make this stronger. Just because it's a region in the north, we really need to just secure this area. We're now up to 3,000 a turn, so that's great. Um, that's, Lincoln was really a big hub there. Yeah, they did take it back. God damn it. Just go and sit in Colchester. Oh no, Colchester. Sit there. And you can be upgraded all your stuff. Um, do the general. That's kind of all you can do. Just sit. spend every penny. Spend every penny. And we'll end the turn. We're getting through these turns, like I said, quite easy. They really are going to go after... Um, Mercia, poor them. They're poor Welsh couldn't... I don't even know where their armies are. Like... They must have some army somewhere. They uh, must have at least... Oh, yeah, Holderness took that. No surprise there. Oh, there's an army of Mercy. Just go and take some stuff, please. I beg. They're losing more than they can take. Declare your authority. There we go. Mission fair. I don't care about <laughs> giving people land. It doesn't help. And my economy is shooting through the roof now. This is great. Um, this replaces a lot of stuff. So it unlocks recruitment of select field spears. Field spearmen are replace cell spearmen and L spearmen replace thills. Uh, Thane, sorry. I was putting uh, Thane and Thill together. And this will improve stuff, I presume. Eventually. Yeah, mailed horses replace earls. Which, there. Could go down to cavalry soon. Um, I'm going to do spears because I've not really got masses of cavalry. Not really needing it. Um, this 20... Oh, okay, that 12 stack's now actually kind of a danger. Don't think the rebels would dare attack me. Hmm. I could actually assault that one. I may assault that. What was their garrison like? Hmm. Lots of herdmen. They have one, two... Well, they have five units of skirmishers. Seven, ten, fourteen defenses against my 18 it's not an entirely strong 18 though and some of it's cav don't really want to risk it uh, well let's just build up Lincoln while we're waiting so I'm going to put a garrison in like I said I was so that will really improve that um, I'm going to move you up to take Lud not quite sure, oh Lud would Lud be Hull? no that might be Hull there well, that's, I know, I live, that is another place I've lived, or live, do live, near Popquinton. And that's York, which is the capital of the place I'm from, being Yorkshire. Proud to be Yorkshire. Gotta be. We're getting to that part of the world now where I know every place. Um, Right, food production, we're doing okay on food, I could actually put that in for Stianford. Your commercial would be growing, going up, that'd be great, but is there anywhere that can actually improve food? Northampton, you're doing your bit. That could help with food there. You're pretty happy. That would help with pottery. Pot pottery. Pottery. That would help. Uh, that would bring minus that down. Not so fun about that. Let's put pottery in. Help with that. You've got an upgrade. Um, let's put quartermaster in so you can move faster around the world. Because that's really needed. Um, you're pretty... I say you're pretty cheap, you're still really not. Let's put in another Earl Thanes and another Long Axe. And then that army can start to move north as well. I'm going to get that army to probably move up to here. But that's apparently going to have pissed them off going through that. Well, screw them, I'm going through their lands. This is a strong 20 stack all of a sudden. And this is a strong 18. Let's come across, let's come and secure uh, Nottingham, and then I'll go north even further, because there's nothing over here. that All their armies are in the west. So we really need to deal with them first. Uh, risk a rebellion in... Yeah, I'm not surprised this has just happened. Um, well, we'll sort that out in a minute. Skills available. I'll put a governor in um, there. Actually, if I had the money, I would. Damn. Don't have the money. Uh, governor, you're very loyal. Excellent. Um... Pillager, no. Forager. Local province? Yeah, let's put that like then. You can be a forager. An AF Helm. You're a general. You're not loyal enough. Let's make you loyal. There we go. Make you loyal. Um, so we'll deal with that. Um, and then 
We'll end the turn, I guess. Well, there's a few people that still hate me for loyalty. How come for this? Faction allegiance. Okay, loyalty. One more turn. Okay, well, well, we can deal with the loyalty problem. If there's a rebellion in Lincoln, there's a rebellion in Lincoln. I'll put a governor in there next turn. We have plenty of money now to be able to afford to do so. Um, it's whether we can just, well, do so. Whether any events come up that just mean I have to spend all my money on that. And that 20 stack has gone for somewhere... Where I didn't think it would go for. Didn't think it would quite go for... I thought it'd keep their warpath on. But I guess... Oh yeah, they're just taking that. Uh, movement range. Goes up. Crack the whip. Bitter. Uh, where are you? You are a governor. So your movement range doesn't need to actually change. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that then. You just take Lud. Um, because... Why not? Um, so now we have this entire... Oh no, we don't have this entire province. Is this part of a different province? What? Is this part of a different province? No, this is just a very big province. Also, this is part of it, and this is part of it. Okay, that's just... Okay, so Lincoln's just a big province. We probably def... This, if anything, confirms that a governor needs to be put in here. So we'll do, do that right now. Um, we'll put um, one of these guys in here. Probably this guy. We'll put him into Lincoln. There you go. You've, you're in. Yeah, your loyalty's not great, but I can live with it. Um, skills available. Savvy is a governor. His loyalty's okay, actually. Um, he's not great in much else, though. Um, let's put you in for scribe as well. You can do that. And then let's put food in. Probably a farm. Do that. Oh, we haven't converted this. Can I still afford to convert? Yes, I can. Let's put a priory store in. There we go. I'll do that, actually. I've been meaning to do that for many turns. Um, bring Alfred over here. He can finish off the siege. They're now actually starting to starve, I imagine, aren't they? Yeah, actually, that was huge starvation. Actually, I probably didn't need to worry about that too much. There you go. Uh, it's an overkill, but... We can deal with it. Then we need to really deal with this rebel army that's just kind of spawned here. Then we can move west. And then we'll move north at the same time. I could liberate. I'm just going to occupy. I'm sorry. Sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm not allowing more factions to appear and stop my dream of a united England. Uh, no, I don't want to raise any armies. But can you raise anyone yourself? You can. Some old things would be pretty good. Let's get some of them. Get some of them going. Now you're a 19 stack. That's not too bad. Risk of Rebellion. Still not great here, but... We're sorting that out. We're sorting that out. Garrison will sort that self out pretty nicely. And, uh... Yeah, I'm not really sure... Well, these there's a few armies down here. I guess... We'll, I've got an army... Oh, no, that army in the north. It's gone over here. I've, this army's moving all over the place. Really is. Um... This 18 stack. The bane of the English. Ooh. So, yeah, I don't care if I'm going through your lands. I'm sorry, but I'm not. We're going to go up here. We're going to occupy this. And then this one's going to probably just defend the west. And make sure that no like 20 stacks like this just start causing havoc. Uh, on our lands, basically. I don't really want that. And then we've got some more traits. Oh, what did he... That was cool. One plays his heart. Influence. Ah, that's, I don't really want more people having influence. Wall breaker. This guy's getting pretty good. I won't lie. Um, AF walled, isn't he? Yeah, but I mean, I'm controlling everyone just about. Like everyone's staying loyal. I've only got 43 units in the field. Wow. I don't. I don't actually have two full stacks then. Wow. This one's nearly a full stack. Then everything else is kind of just dotted around doing its own thing. Yeah. English Courage. Uh, English Courage is pretty good. It's pretty strong. Yeah, actually, but, wow. That, I did not realise that. We don't actually have uh, that many full stacks. We'll end the turn one final time to, before we wrap up this episode. I imagine we'll see what Northumbria can do. And they're just moving to beat up Mercy again. I mean, Mercy's just basically been made um, free to just attack. Like, I annex them, but doesn't really, well, like, vassalize them, but there's not going to be much left. There's no way I could defend them. They need to defend themselves anyway. 
Shown. Oh, wow. Kill this guy? This man's been planned out with. Shown it. Okay, I just had him killed. Just had this man killed. Wow. Um, Wolf Sig, maybe? I certainly don't want you. You're very good for AF. I could have it. Let's have a diff another AF fall. See if he does just as well as the last one. Does everyone hate me for that, I wonder? Low loyalty? No. No one really hate me for that. That's fine then. Alfred, he got he got an upgrade for that. That's what you get for killing people. Followers. This character's... I have two skill points to do now. Wow. Right, okay. Poor guy. just like... <laughs> um, um... Ooh. Charge bonus of commander unit. Yep, we'll put that up. Wow. I can really boost that. Um, don't need loyalty. Forager. I don't really want pillager either. Bard would be kind of handy. Let's get that up. There we go. And you are going to siege me out. Well, that's going to end badly for you. And we can just all resolve this. I would fight some battles, but I mean, there's just... When it's like that much, it's just no point. I'm going to fight it better and more efficiently. If it, it's the close ones I'm going to fight. I just also want to get through these uh, through these turns and get campaigning. Really. Um, there you go. Just occupy that, Alfred. Perfect. Right, there you go. And then this guy can, I guess, go and occupy... Is that... What is that? Would that be Worcester? I'm not sure. Worcestershire? It looks a bit like Worcestershire. But, um... Is that the entire province? Well, this is extra stuff. This is part of a different province. Oh, no, that's... That is. And that is a... Oh, okay. Fair enough. And door holds the... Is the last bit. So that 20 stack is coming. I am chasing it ever so slowly. It looks like it's going to try and defend War uh, attack Warwick though first. So I'm not. Yeah, they can do that. Warwick's no. Well, that looks a bit. Yeah, that one looks like Warwick. I'm not sure. His name's. Oh no, that's not Warwick. That's. God knows what that is. Tamworth, possibly? I don't know my English towns well enough, and I live here. That's just a bit. Worrying, <laughs> to be honest. Low loyalty, only you. Is this the guy I just hired? I don't know, there's so many air folds. Yeah, I think it is. What a... What a guy. Can I get him a wife? Um, Can I arrange a marriage for him? I kind of want to arrange a marriage for him. See if I can get some guy that will improve his loyalty. Mercia. You actually don't look too bad after all this. That's surprising. I won't lie. Um, no, you just hate me just as much. Everyone hates me, to be honest, if they're a vassal of me. Apart from these guys. These guys love me. Well met. Let us drink. Well met. Yeah. I didn't think any of you guys would up. And you took back your place. Good. I really just want to get some marriages. But you guys really hate me. So... That's a shame. And these guys don't mind me too much. But they're not great. Oh, the vassals of Diflin. I think most of these people are. Osseridge. Declaration of... No, I didn't think so. Not really too fussed about the Irish. The Irish do what they want. Um, no, I'll just spend some money then. Spend money to make more money. Um, right, I will increase the small farm. There you go. And you can't spend anything. Where's that 19 stack? You could definitely get one more unit. Make that a full stack. A uh, few Axemen, yep, sure. They'll do. There we go. That's a full stack now. Another full stack. Excellent. Perfect. Um, and I don't really have anything else really to do in this turn. I think everyone else has moved, or my armies have kind of move to where they need to move. So that's fine. So this is probably where I'm going to wrap up the episode, guys. So we've vassalized Mercy. We've united England. We've actually got the short campaign completed. So if you guys want me to carry on uh, this campaign, then please just leave a like and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments. Um, I would really like to take out Northumbria and get to the north and uh, unite England as one, under one banner, or a sort of, sort of one banner. There's going to be a few, like, vassal kingdoms, but you know what I mean. Um, so yes, guys, and hope you've enjoyed this episode, and leave a like if you have done, and until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.